Hi, I'm Sam from Barn2. And if you're one of the many customers who uses the Document Library Pro plugin, then we have a pretty cool update for you. We've added a brand new front-end form that allows documents to be easily submitted, effectively allowing you to create a document library that anyone can add files to. But of course, you'll have the option to hold any submissions for moderation. More on that later. Now, if somehow you've clicked on this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Document Library Pro by Barn2 is a very powerful WordPress plugin that allows you to easily create and manage a document library on your website. It provides a variety of options for categorizing and organizing your documents, as well as displaying them in a nice table format. And it's perfect for a wide range of use cases, such as creating a resource database, sharing research papers, or displaying legal documents. So why did we create this new feature? Well, there's a number of handy use cases where a front-end submission form is much better than only being able to submit documents from the back end of WordPress. First, it's easy for team members or colleagues to add documents to your website or document library without having to be logged in as a user on WordPress. You can simply give them the page which allows for the documents to be submitted, and they can do the work of submitting the documents for you, and you can edit them later in the back end if you need to. So you're no longer the only person who can upload documents to your website. Now your team members can also do it for you. This method also makes it easier for visitors to submit documents. Say, for example, you're collecting job applications, resumes, that sort of thing. You can create a database of these submitted documents, and you can keep them internally and private, or you can have this database public on your website as well. So basically it just adds a more professional and streamlined way for people to add documents to your website. Simple as that. So that's all great, but how does it work? Well, let's take a look. Users visit a submit document page on your website and fill in all the information. This includes the document title, description, and any other fields that you've chosen to include, such as the excerpt or categories and tags as well. They also either upload a document or paste in a link if they're adding a resource which is stored elsewhere on the web. Depending on your settings, the document is either displayed in your document library immediately or it's held for moderation, meaning that you receive an email telling you that you need to approve the document before it gets added to the library. And once the document is added to the library, it appears alongside all your other resources and documents. So that's how the new feature works. Now I'll show you how to set it up. Setting up the form is pretty straightforward and I'll explain some of the extra options that you have along the way. First, make sure that Document Library Pro is installed on your WordPress website and update it if necessary. Next, on the left-hand side, Navigate to Documents and Settings. Scroll down to almost the bottom of the page and choose your settings for the front end document submission form. Here's where we can set up the moderation and email notifications that I mentioned earlier. Next, we need to create the page where people will actually submit the documents. So from our WordPress admin, we'll go Pages, Add New. We'll give that a title. We'll call it Document Submission page, and then we're going to paste this short code here, dlp underscore submission underscore form. Then we can publish that straight away. And when we view that page, you can see this has created the document submission page where we will add the title, content, excerpt, document link, category, tags, and submit document button. Pretty handy. Now you can have more control over who can submit documents and ensure that only the right people have access to the form. You can either leave the page public or you can mark it as private or you can add a password to protect it. Cool. Now users can easily submit documents from the front end of your website. Finally, visit the page to see the document submission form in action. And once you've submitted a test document, visit the page where new documents will be displayed. You can easily find this by going to the pages list in the WordPress admin and finding the document library page. So go all pages and search for documents. And you'll find document library here. And let's view that very quickly. Here's our document library and we'll be able to see if the new document was added successfully. 
So that's all I have for you today. Be sure to give this new feature a try if you have Document Library Pro. And if you don't have Document Library Pro and you've watched this far into the video, you might consider actually getting it. So give it a try if this is the feature you've been looking for. Before I go, I quickly wanted to let you know about another one of our plugins that is a great addition to this one, and that is the Password Protected Categories plugin. If you have sensitive or private documents, you can use this plugin to restrict entire document categories and show different documents to different groups of people. And remember, if you do purchase any plugins from Barn2, they always come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you for watching this quick plugin demonstration and update of the new feature. Please like the video if you found it helpful and let us know in the comments what other tutorials you would like to see from us.